Assalamualaikum and welcome back to Technology Explore. This is the part number eight of SolidWorks Complete Learning Course. And in this video, we will talk on uh, the uh, in the advanced mates. We will uh, learn the distance mate and angle lobe mate. Then we will talk on mechanical mates and gear mate and screw mate. So stay tuned. Now, first of all, uh, let me show you. And basically, the distance lock mate is used to uh, lock the travel of a component uh, to a certain distance specified by the user. So, let me show you um, an example. For example, uh, I'm going to move this part up to this point and this point only. So, for that, uh, first of all, making a coincident mate of this face. Um, this face, select this face and then select mate, then select this face. Now flip the mate alignment from here, then press OK button. Then select this face and this face, make both these faces parallel to each other. Press OK button. Again press OK button. Now you can see here, we can uh, move this part like this. But I'm going to uh, make the uh, movement of this part locked between these two uh, points. So for that, um, click on mate, then advanced mates. And in the advanced mate, select distance mate. And then select any of the, uh, and the two faces. So let's select these two faces. Then here you can see maximum distance. So type here maximum distance. Let's say I'm going to select 600 millimeter maximum distance and minimum distance. Uh, let's say 30 millimeter. So here is the current distance. At the moment it is um, 30 millimeter. So you can increase or um, verify the distance. So let's select 600. Instead of 600 maximum distance, type here 400 maximum distance and minimum distance uh, select 50 millimeter. Now you can also type here 400 millimeter to verify. So now uh, if you press OK button, then this mid will be applied. And now you can check. So this part is uh, the movement of this part is locked between these two distances. So maximum distance from this face to this face is 400 and minimum distance is 50 millimeter. You can also edit this mate by uh, expanding the mates option from here. Then here you can see limit distance mate. Click on it and then edit feature. And you can um, apply new settings and then press OK button. Again press OK button. So this was the limit distance and the another um, uh, mate is uh, um, limit angle or log angle um, mate. So the limit angle mate is also used to um, log the rotation of a component um, between the certain angles uh, specified by the uh, user. So let me show you, uh, first of all, let me delete this limit distance, then uh, also delete this parallel and let me delete this plate. Now if um, I have to rotate this part, now if I click this uh, only line, not this face, only this line, press and hold control key, then select this line. Release the control key and then select coincident. Also select uh, this face and this face. Make them coincident or parallel. Now um, let me fix this plate. Then uh, here you can see uh, if I try to rotate the selected component is fully defined. Because we had also created the coincident mate of this face with the uh, the face uh, bottom face of this uh, component, so we have to delete it. So click on this component and then select view mates. Then we have to delete this coincident mate. 
now you can rotate it now you can see um, um, this part is uh, rotating 360 degree um, and now I'm going to um, uh, log the rotation of this component along with this uh, with respect to this phase uh, let's say 30 degree minimum and uh, maximum uh, let's say uh, 75 so for that again click on mate option here then scroll down advanced mates and from here limit angle mate select it so this is the maximum angle this is the minimum angle and uh, so select the uh, desired faces this phase and this phase and type here maximum uh, minimum distance uh, let's say 15 degree and maximum um, 75 degree then press ok button again press ok button now you can see uh, 75 is the maximum and minimum 15 degree so now we are able to um, uh, make the rotation of this component uh, fixed on this part so this was uh, the limit angle made and uh, you can also add it, uh, edit it by clicking on this limit angle one and then add it feature now um, we have uh, the uh, mechanical mirrors here and uh, in the mechanical mirrors uh, I'm going to reveal gear made and screw made so for that we have to create a new assembly first of all let's start from new assembly again then press escape button import the gears if you had um, designed the gears in um, separately or by yourself uh, in solidworks but i ha um, i have another option to import the gears uh, that go to design library then select toolbox and then uh, from here uh, click on this add in now because add in uh, toolbox add in is not turned on so to turn it on click on this button now from here select the uh, standard so let's select um, and symmetric then from here power transmission then these are the gears so here are the type of gears uh, let's say I am going to use helical gear click and drag it into the assembly and wait for a while so here you can see these are the options related with the gear so this is the module let's select module uh, module 2 then uh, after the module we have number of teeth option let's select uh, number of teeth 20 then uh, helix direction right hand or left hand so select right hand for this then this is the pressure angle or helix angle this is pressure angle and this is face width um, let's say one zero millimeter is the face width and uh, this is hub style one side both sides so uh, choose your desired hub diameter uh, let's say uh, four zero millimeter this is the overall length of hub and it uh, should be two zero millimeter and uh, this is the nominal shaft diameter so this this diameter nominal shaft meter selected uh, let's say um, let's say one five millimeter and again scroll down keyway if you want to uh, create keyway scare 1 or scare 2 select your desired keyway then show teeth 20 and press ok button now we had created this gear by using design library again we have another uh, we have to import another gear so for that again click on design library here then click and drag helical gear leave all the settings as they are according to this gear but instead of uh, helix direction change it from right to left now press ok button now again press uh, escape button so first of all we have to hide this sketch so 
right click on this sketch and then hide it similarly hide this sketch hide it now uh, if you can see uh, I am able to move this part but I am unable to move this part because this part is fixed so to make it float right click on it then select float now um, let's make some mates so for that um, select right plane then select mate then select this face and press ok button then make the coincident mate then press ok button again again select this face and press and hold control key then select this face now select coincident mate now you can see uh, I can um, rotate this part and if when I try to rotate this part the part is uh, moving instead of rotating so for that um, click on right plane then sketch on it make normal to and then draw a line start it from origin like this press escape button then press this button to save and exit from sketch mode then um, click and drag this gear to align it with the another gear like this now again select this line and edit its sketch now click and drag this line like this uh, just uh, we have we have to align uh, this line perpendicular or vertical to the uh, center of this circle then right click on this uh, or right click or just click on this point then make it fixed now save and exit from sketch mode then select this point then this cylindrical face release the control key and from here select concentric mate again press a space key then select this view orientation rotate the gears to align them like this <clears throat> so now we have uh, fully defined uh, the uh, assembly of these two gears so click on this line and hide it now it's time to make the gear mate for both of these gears so for that click on mate scroll down and from here uh, mechanical mates select gear mate select this cylindrical face and this cylindrical face select the ratio from here so uh, if you have 1 1 ratio we have 1 1 ratio for both of these gears because uh, both of these gears are of the same size then um, do not check this option reverse and press ok button again press ok button now rotate one gear and you can see we are able to uh, make the gear mates in solid works so um, next we have the screw mate in the solid works so for that again we have to start from a new assembly so for that click on new button here then select assembly now import the uh, bolt and uh, nut in the assembly so this is the bolt and this is the nut press escape button now uh, click on this um, this bolt and uh, to, to make screw mates we have to make a reference uh, for the bolt and that reference could be an axis uh, on the bolt so let me show you how click on this part and open it in a new window and then now click on reference geometry here and then from here select axis and uh, zoom in then select this uh, cylindrical face and here you can see we had created the axis press ok button and then click on this point and increase the length of this axis like this so click on this i button here and from here select or view axis then um, go to assembly and from here also select or click on this uh, arrow in front of i button and then from here select view axis 
now uh, we are able to make the screw mate for this uh, nut and uh, nut and bolt so again select mate <coughs> scroll down and then from mechanical mates select screw now uh, if you scroll up here you can see mate selections so select this axis and then uh, and then this cylindrical face or this uh, circular edge scroll down and here you can see the option revolution per millimeter and distance per revolution so you can type here the pitch or uh, any of these two options so let me select distance per revolution and uh, uh, it is 1.25 press ok button again press ok button now if you try to rotate this bolt uh, this nut and you can see so now you can see um, the screw mate has been applied and it is working perfectly so let me hide the axis and then you can see if I rotate this nut and um, it is working perfectly so this is how we can apply screw mate uh, in SOLIDWORKS assemblies you can also edit it by expanding the mates option and then click on it and edit feature I hope you had enjoyed and learned from this video. If you like this video, please subscribe to my YouTube channel and thanks for watching and sparing time.